Hey guys, it's Rich with another Terror Talk Tuesday. In this Terror Talk, I am doing a deck review and reveal of the Thelema Tarot. This is produced by Low Scarabeo. And I think this is considered the premium edition whenever they put them in these little tiny uh, two-part boxes. Uh, nice presentation, by the way. I rarely have anything bad to say about Low Scarabeo's packaging techniques. Um, artwork by... Renata Lechner. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the packaging. Two part box, nice hard, uh, hard cardboard. Nothing bad to say about that. Let's go ahead and take the book out first and we'll go into the book. Like I said, very little problems with, uh, Low Scarabeo and their packaging techniques. So, Anyway, I got a card out with that. Seems to be a going trend. Because I just did that with the Terror of Dreams, too. Or the Oracle of Visions, that's the one. This is the other deck that I ordered. If you watched my Oracle of Visions uh, deck review, this is the other deck that I had. I actually had doubles of the Six of Swords, but no Seven of Swords. So, again, like I said, I called up Azure Green. They said no problem at all sending you a new deck and i also had one that had one damaged card and i told them about it they sent me a new deck for that one to replace that so awesome doing business with azure green and uh now that i am playing with a full deck i get to review it so and then i get to use it because i'm not allowed to use my decks until i review them uh that's my personal rule this came out in 2015, and the artwork, concept, and design were, like I said, by Renata uh, Lechner, and book by Jamie Elford. So, let's see how Jamie did on writing the book. <clears throat> so, we do have, in a lot of Low Scarabeo's um, instruction booklets and whatnot, we have multiple languages. So, that's pretty normal. And it talks about the Thelema Tarot. This is only Thelema by name. It is not associated with, uh, uh, I believe it's called the Order of Thelema. So yeah, th this has nothing to do with the group Thelema. This is just by name. So little uh, misinterpretation on that one. Uh, whenever I was first seeing this deck and whenever I first saw reviews of this deck, I'm like, eh. I said, I don't know if I want that. Maybe. And then I saw the artwork. I'm like, definitely. And then they said, yeah, it's not associated with Thelema. I'm like, awesome. Okay. Not that I have any problems with them. Just saying that, you know, I don't like buying decks that are necessarily named after a certain type of um, practice. Because, yeah, if I don't practice that, then I won't have as much of a connection to the uh the imagery and the concept behind it so anyway it goes on to say a brief introduction to the tarot what the cards mean and then it goes into the major arcana and it gives i'd say about probably three quarters of a page to a full page of information so yeah much appreciated and it looks like it does that for all of the majors this is the first time i'm really going through the book other than reading the introduction. And then it talks about the Minor Arcana. Let's see how much... Yeah. It looks like about the same amount of information is given on the Minor Arcana as well. About a page worth of information. That's awesome. So, especially for a small book. And... Let's see. Well, what do we have after that? And then it talks about using the cards. And then it has the Thelema spread, which is a six card spread. So yeah, that's the end of the English portion of the book. So yeah, nice little, little book. Let's see how many pages. That is 74 pages. So 74 pages for one language. Awesome, uh, especially for a little companion book. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and bring you guys down into the nether regions and we will go through the deck next to the Rider Waite Smith, you know, as per usual. Okay, like I said, you get the book, little tiny book. You get the two part uh, box, nice hard box, liking it. And we have an invitation card, which I will set that aside. And we have a title card, so I'll set that aside. And yeah, let, let's uh, go ahead and get into our usual stuff here. Thickness, as I see a hair in there from a cat that should not be up on my reading cloth, but okay. Thickness, it is like a good size thicker than the Rider Waite Smith by US Games. Uh, let's see what we have here as far as size. About the same size, length, and width as the Rider Waite Smith. Looking at the back, it appears to be fully reversible, but something tells me it's not. Um, probably due to the shadows or something like that. So, nice back though. I like it. I'm not adverse to it, so yeah, I think I can deal with that back. So let's go ahead and get on into the cards. I like that it is already borderless, so you can definitely uh, just go ahead and buy and go. I like the the regalness of it. I like the way that it's uh, it's done. It's very uh, realistic looking, and that just that really gets to me. That I, I I can definitely go for this deck. Whenever you have a realistic looking deck, and I can just relate to the image, you got me. Now, one thing I will say is the Hermit is a little fuzzy. That's not a camera trick. That is, the the Hermit just seems fuzzy in this, in this deck. I don't know why. Everything else seems clear and crisp. Uh, loving everything else. It's just the Hermit that, whenever I was looking at it, seems a little fuzzy. I gotta say some of the models that they had for this deck, I don't know who they are, but they have some cute slash hot models for this deck. So kind of liking that aspect. Hey, a little eye candy is not a bad thing in a tarot deck. I'll have you know. That is one thing that whenever you not only have a borderless deck, um, you have a realistic looking deck and you have hot models in there you got me sold so yeah if it stays to the Rider Waite Smith um, system which I'm most familiar with you got it you got my money it's like here take my money so really liking this definitely uh, thinking that this is going to be a uh, a deck that I read with as a primary reading deck or as one of my primary reading decks I should say now this is the one that I had two of this card the six of swords and I had no seven of swords whenever I first bought this so Azure Green was great about it they sent me a new deck that had the seven of swords in it and I got to keep the old one so I got some uh craft projects to do with that one or I'll use them as meditation cards I'll talk about what to do with uh, some old cards that are no longer usable I'll do a different video on that if I haven't already done one on it by the time this airs I don't even know when this is gonna air so That's interesting. 
and I didn't notice that before, the two of wands and the three of wands look very, very similar in this deck. So, if you're going to be reading with this deck, be very aware of that. It looks so very similar. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, we're on three. Okay. There we go. We're on track. I thought I flipped too far on one of these decks, so. They don't have the aspect of uh, people fighting in this deck. That's interesting to see. Um, it almost seems like, even with this one, that they went more of a Marseille style for a couple cards and then went back to the Rider Waite Smith style. Kind of odd. You don't usually see that. Uh, at least I haven't usually seen it. So, kind of different. Like I said, this is only my second, maybe third time seeing this, if that. And um, there's different things I'm, I'm seeing in this that are like, oh my gosh, I didn't see this before. How could I have not seen this? And uh, there's also some things I'm looking for, like uh, ethnic diversity, because I know that's important to uh, some people whenever they buy a deck. It's not really a big hang-up for me. But I, I do like to see it in a deck. And I'm not really seeing a lot of ethnic diversity. I'm seeing a, a very deep tonal quality of the artwork in general. So I don't know if uh, darker skin tones would really be able to uh, really be seen in this deck because it is a darker style deck I don't know if they would show up as well but I, I still think it's uh, it's important to include everybody in a deck and that's why I think uh, Eric Dune whenever he does a deck is just fantastic at making sure that that happens Definitely things to meditate with this deck on, you know, different things that come up with this deck that if you haven't made that association before, you definitely make it now. And that is the Thelema Tarot. Like I said, I didn't see a lot of ethnic diversity in this deck. Um, and as I said before, not really a huge... Uh, deal for me as far as whether or not I get a deck but I know that some people it's very important I do think it's an important topic to discuss but I hadn't seen a lot of it in here and it could just be that I I glanced over it and didn't see it but I mean that there's darker skin uh, tones on the four of swords uh, looks to be maybe Nepalese. Uh, I would assume either from like Nepal or uh, Tibet or somewhere around that region. Because he's in a uh, in a cross-legged lotus position. So, so I assume that's supposed to be more of a uh, nod to Buddhist uh, teachings. So anyway, let's see. Shuffles very nicely. It has a good bend to it. Uh, it's not really sticking on that bend. So you're not losing the uh, the strength of the cards, I guess you would say. That one, I think I bent, a, bent them a little bit more. But anyway. Yeah, just a little bit. I bent them. You know what? For me, it's not a big deal that... Uh, 
if a card deck gets bent a little. So it's that's something that just happens whenever you uh, do a lot of bridge shuffling. Shuffles very well. Like I said, thicker deck, a little bit uh, more worrisome for me whenever I first started shuffling it, whether or not it was going to shuffle well. But it's the same size as the Rider Waite Smith, so fairly easy to shuffle. Probably a deck that I could do right out of the box, that I could read with right out of the box and have no problems. Uh, I am still going to be studying with this deck a little bit more and uh, connecting with it a little bit more. So, But anyway, that is the Thelema Tarot produced by Lo Scarabeo and made by Renata Lechner. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I am so sorry. Uh, like I said, good deck. I do like it. Uh, might want to show you the front of the deck. The more prominent side that is usually seen whenever you look for it. So, yeah, I guess they could sell them on both those pictures. So, But usually whenever you look this deck up online this is the one that shows so if you're looking to buy it online this is the the picture that you're usually going to see Thelema Tarot by Renata Lechner and produced by Lo Scarabeo um, let me know what you think um, if you have this deck if you like reading with this deck if you have some hang-ups about this deck uh, what are they and if you have this deck on maybe your wish list or something like that let me know by commenting below so until next time may you have love hugs and ladybugs bye bye